Today, I'm going to briefly explain how to create and configure appearances of your Onshape models. Adding color to a model can make a big difference. This skateboard looks pretty basic with the default appearance, but by recoloring the surfaces, we can create something way more impressive. The first step of the detailed appearance process is creating a sketch. We'll create a sketch on the surface we want to customize and then add as much or as little detail as we want. While many simpler intermediate designs can be done using the sketching tools in Onshape, this is a great use of the insert DXF or DWG functionality. Other free to use programs allow you to convert pictures into DXFs. Personally, for this process, I use Inkscape, which can then be imported into Onshape as sketch elements. Once the design is complete, we'll click to finish the sketch. Up here in the features toolbar is a split feature. This feature allows you to break a solid model or a surface into multiple pieces. We'll use the surface splitting functionality to customize the skate deck's top surfaces. In the split command, we'll select the face tab. We'll then select the surfaces we want to be included in this split command. Going down to the next box, we will select the sketch that contains our design. And just like that, the split command has broken down the top surface of the skateboard based on our sketch lines. So that wraps up the first major step of this process. The next step in the detailed appearance process is to assign each surface a color. This process can involve a lot of clicks, but it's not particularly difficult. We'll start by clicking on all the surfaces that we want to be the same color. Once we've selected them all, a right click will bring up a variety of different commands. We want the very bottom one, which is add appearance to face. This will bring up the appearance editing menu. For organization purposes, it's a good idea to give each color group a name. If you want to edit something later on, it'll save you a lot of time. Now we'll choose a color. If you don't like any of the standard palette colors, the mixer tab allows for significantly more control. Something I like to do is look online to find a color I like, then use a color picking program to pull the hex code and paste that into the appearance window right here. A fun thing to point out as well is that surfaces can be made semi-transparent by using this slider. Now simply repeat the process of choosing different surface groups and applying the required color to each of them. If you want to see all of the different appearance groups you've created, click on the Appearance Panel tab on the right side of the viewing window. In the Appearance Panel tab, you'll also be able to edit the color of a group or add or remove surfaces from an existing group. So that wraps up the appearance creation process. As you can see, it's not too difficult. Now I'll give a quick explanation on how to configure appearances if you want to swap between multiple. Start by selecting the configuration panel button on the right side of the screen. It's directly below the appearance panel button and then click configure parts studio. Name the default appearance, whatever you want. We'll see the configurations tree appear in the top left window. Click on the italicized name box and give the second configuration a name. With multiple configurations created, now is the time to click the plus configure features button in the top right. Pretty much any feature can be configured using this process, so keep that in mind when making your models. For now, we're just gonna focus on doing appearance stuff. So we'll select the splitting sketch and then choose to configure its suppression state. I'll also click the split feature and do the same thing. Suppressing features can be extremely useful. When features are suppressed, they will not be calculated and will not affect the part's geometry. It's like deleting the feature without actually deleting it. On the right, the configuration panel now has a table of checkboxes, which can be used to determine when features are unsuppressed. I'll make sure the sketch and split are turned off in other configurations. So that covers configuring the features, but not the appearances. Those can be found under the Configured Properties tab. When you click the dropdown, we'll see that the list contains all of the parts in the Parts Studio, as well as each of the appearance groups that we created. Remember when I said that naming the appearance groups would be useful? This is the reason why. Click on the name of one of the appearance groups and then click on the Add Property dropdown. Choose Suppression to allow that to be configured. Similar to before, this will create a table of checkboxes to control when the appearance is suppressed or not suppressed. If you repeat this process for each appearance group, then that'll allow you to make configurable appearances in your part studio. That's all there is to it. It's basically just making tables to turn things on and off. If something gets mixed up, it'll be pretty obvious because things won't look quite right.
That wrapped up the configuration process for the parts in the parts studio, but a little more work is required to make this work in an assembly as well. No worries though, it's a similar process of making a table and just setting the correct things to turn on and off. We'll go to the configuration panel and click configure assembly. We'll change the name of this section to color scheme and then give each configuration a name. I named these the same as the color schemes I created in the parts studio just to keep things easy. When that's done, click here to configure assembly features. We'll click on the parts and click to configure their appearance. At this point, make the table elements match the name of the appearance and that should take care of it. So that wraps up this video on how to create and configure some really cool appearances for your onshape models. I hope you learned something from this and now you can go and make your models look even better.